Mercedes-Benz User Experience, or MBUX, is the new infotainment system for our passenger car range, which has completely overhauled and replaced the old command system. It's much more intuitive, user-friendly, and customizable, and we're going to take you through the things that you need to know about this operating system. There's enhanced connectivity, and it's a truly modern system for the digital age of motoring. MBUX made its debut on the new generation A-Class, which arrived in 2018 and has since moved across the rest of the Mercedes-Benz passenger car range. Although it may be displayed slightly differently from model to model, the system is pretty much the same and the way that you operate it is exactly the same. We're now unveiling our second generation MBUX, which will make its debut in the brand new S-Class when it arrives later on this year. There's a few different ways to control the system and we're going to start by taking a look at the touch screen. Swipe left or right to navigate between options, swipe up to reach the themes bar, and if you look at the search bar, tap that and you can search anything and everything from all apps and online services. Pressing and holding an icon will allow you to reposition it. This is one of the many ways that you can customize the system. And just beneath each main icon are a pair of two smaller buttons that will take you into a frequently used part of the application. So here on the ambient lighting, there's a shortcut to take us straight into the color, and I can adjust it through 64 different colors or the 10 preset options that we have. Now this is the same across all features on MBUX and at the bottom of each screen there's a bar here allowing you to search and configure each application. If we take a look on radio, let's set a station as a favourite, you simply press and hold, wait for the options bar to light up and then add to presets like so. You can store up to 20 presets on MBUX. Scrolling down, we can take a look at customizing the car. So I'm going to select a different theme here, and you'll see it will change the layout and the main screen that it defaults to. For navigation, it's simple. Because MBUX is connected, all you need to do is search for where you'd like to go. There's no need, really, to put in entire street names, postcodes, geographical coordinates, but you can, of course, if you would like to. Now, yes, Folkestone was the first place that I thought of. Once you're happy on where you'd like to go, hit this icon and the navigation system will start and it will take into account any holdups on your route. If you want to cancel the route, just hit this icon here with the flag and with the cross. With navigation ticked off, let's take a look at pairing up your phone. So simply head over to the phone menu. Just make sure that Bluetooth is switched on on your phone and that the settings screen is open. Hit connect device, select the device when it pops up and confirm the pass key which will be appearing on your phone. Make sure that you allow contacts to sync over so that your phone book appears on screen. Now you can pair up two devices and if you do have two phones paired up then you can flick between the two on this screen here. It will also automatically set up your phone as a media playing device so whatever drum and bass you're listening to should pretty much start playing automatically. The next way of controlling it is with the touch sensitive trackpad in the center, which is exactly the same as you would find on a laptop. And this mirrors everything that I've just shown you how to do with the touch screen itself. There's also physical shortcut buttons for all of the main features, which is especially handy whilst driving. And there are also the twin touch pads on the steering wheel themselves. The one on the right controls what you see in front of you. So if you'd like, you can see a clock, a navigation display, and a G-force meter on the right, which is very fun if you're driving through Milton Keynes. Now the last way of controlling the system is, of course, by using your voice, and this I think is one of the standout features about MBUX. Rather than like on old infotainment systems where you just had to bark orders at the thing in as few words as possible to try and get it to understand, this one is different. You can pretty much have a conversation with it, and the more you talk to it, the more it learns you, and the more it understands what you're saying. Let me show you. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Will it be sunny tomorrow? It will be partly sunny in Stevenage tomorrow. Temperatures will be between 7 and 14 degrees. Now you can ask the system anything from where you would like to navigate to, to of course the weather like I've just shown you, even changing the ambient lighting colour, or if you don't really want to move your hand from here all the way down to here, then you can ask it to switch on at your own heated seat. You can also ask it to find places to eat as well. If you are in the mood for a Brazilian steakhouse in Brighton, there is actually a very good one there, then you can ask it and the car will find it for you. Now there's a few more really handy convenience features which you can access through MBUX and if your car has air suspension like the GLE that I am sitting in then you can get it to lower whilst you are entering so it will uh, 
meaning that you don't need to carry a stepladder around to hop into one of these. Next up is car wash mode. Now this prepares the car for a automatic wash by switching the air conditioning to recirculation mode, shutting all the windows. If you've got a sunroof, it will close this as well. And as you'll be able to see, it will raise your air suspension quite considerably. Car wash mode remains active at speeds of up to 12 miles an hour. Once you're out of the wash, simply hit the stop button and it will return back to normal. You can set up to seven different user profiles for MBUX. When you start the car for the first time, it will take you through a setup wizard. So each different driver can have their own unique setup with different themes and with the home screen laid out exactly how they would like it. Speaking of themes, there's a few that you can choose from. Here we have classic, moving into sport, and my personal favorite of the range, progressive, which looks like this. If you like your tech, then you're going to be at home here, let's be quite honest. There are so many features which are just cool in their own right, but also ones which I find pretty handy as well. Now, one of them is the automatic seat adjustment. So going in here, you can select your height, which is quite tall, and then hit this button and it will create a driving position for you. And of course, if you're feeling especially generous, you can even set a seating position for some of your colleagues as well. EQ models, including plug-in hybrids and fully electric cars, get their own bespoke MBUX system with a dedicated EV panel for finding things like charging stations and setting maximum charge rates. Oh, how could I forget? There's one more thing. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Tell me a joke. Sorry, I'm too busy looking at the road. She has a point. And that, in a nutshell, is the basics of MBUX. Now, yes, there are a few ways of controlling it, but you will find which way works for you very quickly after you spend a little bit of time in it. For me, when I'm stationary, it's the touchpad in the center and the touchscreen itself, but on the move, it's always the steering wheel controls and using voice activation. I like the fact that you can have full control over everything in the car without having to take my hands off the wheel or my eyes off the road for very long. Now, if you've used previous generations of Mercedes-Benz infotainment, before, then you will find this one very easy to get to learn and get along with. The operating logic is very similar. The shortcut buttons are all pretty much in the same place. Just the difference is you can now touch the screen, talk to it a little bit more, and there are some nice shiny graphics to play around with. Now, if you'd like to find out more about the cars which feature the MBUX infotainment system, then take a look at the videos on our channel. If you've got any questions, then do Get in touch with us here at Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a thing.